All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to make a wheel to suit one of those geared motors that we use. Okay, so one of these motors here. I'm just going to leave it roughly around a bit here. Um, so I'm going to look at it from the top view here, and you can see that it's in perspective. So I'm going to change that to to the true view like this because we're going to be getting quite accurate with our work. Okay, because it needs to be in the center and it needs to be a good accurate tight fit and um, otherwise it's going to slip all right so um let's go straighten that up all right so what we want to do is get this motor in line with the center of our wheel all right so i've highlighted the motor and i'm going to highlight the wheel as well all right like this there's a the two and we're going to align them so I'll go to this function up here, the top right, line. Okay. What we're looking for is this tab over here. And you'll see that there's two, two dots and they're not aligned. So we want to get these aligned like this. All right. Now there's only one dot here. They're both aligned on that center line there. All right. Now, we have to get it a bit more closer to the center. So if we hold shift, we can move in the motor now and see the way it stays on this line here all right that's because i'm holding shift okay and what we want to do is get the spindle in the center of this centimeter gap here on the grid all right now so i'm just going to make sure that the grid is working on the smallest unit here that i can find Gonna hold shift and this time I'm gonna use the arrows to move it. See where I can move it now. And it moves on the tiny grid lines, those millimeter grid lines. Like that. And now we have our geared spindle cut cut out shape for our wheel, right in the center. Alright. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make the motor into a hole. So highlight the motor, turn it into a hole, like so. And I'm also going to make the wheel I have here um, a bit smoother. All right, so I'm going to change the sides. So as you can see, the wheel has these flat sides on it, 23 of them, apparently. So I'm just going to bring that all the way up, 64. And now it's one nice, smooth surface, all right? Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is highlight the whole lot and group it. There we have it. A nice wheel with a cutout. This bit will fall out, but that will perfectly fit the spindle of the geared motor and you'll have no slip. There you go.